Hello, this is Michelle Knight. Welcome to your September astrology. And thank goodness it's much better this month. Yeah, baby. We are rocking and rolling and moving forward. And it kicks off with Saturn turning direct on the 6th. And there's lots of other goodies for you to enjoy in September. Here's your monthly astrology. Aquarius, Saturn's going direct. You feel that your psychic ability and your ability to tune in to people is unleashed once more. You may have just had to deal with some stuff. Perhaps you've had to deal with some addictions or bad habits or kind of somebody else lying or even maybe you lying to yourself in some way. I don't know, but there's some deep stuff that Saturn brought in. And now, boom, it's going and you feel open and you feel grounded in your spirituality and your intuition and you're able to build things up and be intimate again and be open without having to deal with all the dirge. Mercury is trying Uranus and also trying Saturn on the 7th. So you're feeling very happy, very spontaneous, but grounded. Um, you're also feeling that like it now is the time that you're stepping into your power and power uh, is coming up a lot for you this month. You are feeling more powerful. Perhaps over the past couple of months with all the intense retrograde activity, you were feeling powerless in some way. Perhaps there were issues to do with money or sex or anything that's a primal button. And now you're like, boom, I've overcome that. I know who I am. I know where I'm going. I've got my strength. I've got my force. And you can also really easily suss out other people's motivations. You just look at them and you know whether they're genuine or not this month. And you're, you're able to talk about very deep things and people are revealing all sorts of things to you this month. So it's, it's interesting and it's deep and it's intense, uh, very intense. The new moon is in that position. It's your primal zone. It's your power. You're going through a new cycle where you're powerful in a different way and, and you're feeling it. It's coursing through your being. Use your power kindly. Use your power wisely. There's also a whole new level of sexuality and sensuality. You're rediscovering perhaps your sensuality. There may be some issues to do with money. There could even be some money unexpectedly coming to you. And you're like, yes, I quite like this. Yes, bring it on. Do beware, though, of anything you're getting involved in, in terms of investments, because particularly around the new moon, it's opposing Neptune in your security zone. So there may be, you might go a little bit, you know, your imagination or somebody kind of spreading illusions or lies around you might catch you out. Venus is shifting signs and going into your career zone. You might go, well, Michelle, what has my career got to do with love? Well, Venus is also the money planet. So she invites abundance into your life. So that's a very good thing. And use that uh, Venus energy to boost yourself when it, when it comes to your work because people like you and they're drawn to you at this time when Venus is there. We also have Jupiter sextile Pluto. There's a little interesting uh, twist of fate, coincidence that happens around your work that could bring a new cycle. Uh, it's a very, very positive day, Jupiter sextile Pluto. Positive change, stretching yourself, doing new things. Mercury's trying Pluto as well. You're making a commitment to going deeper, thinking about things on a deeper level, experiencing life on a deeper level. The sun is shifting signs on the 23rd. And then the next phase for you is all about adventure, travel, uh, meeting different people, expressing your unique soul. And you're feeling very optimistic when this, with the sun there. Then there's the full moon, which, which is in your ideas house. There should be an interesting conversation, idea or message that comes to you on the 25th. And it's got deep significance. So look out for that. Finally, on the 28th, the sun is trying Mars. It's a jolly day. Mars is in your sign, so you've got the fire going on. And um, you're passionate about your ideas. And you're, you're passionate about putting your energy into things that inspire you. Sounds like a great month. Take care, gorgeous. Do come and see me on Instagram if you're about, or I do interactive tarot readings daily, etc. Lots of love. Bye. <laughs>